After sustaining a serious injury during an S&M scene with her lover, Poe Childs checks herself into a psychiatric hospital for a 72-hour rest. What was y'all doing? And do you have video so I can see for just for research purposes? Hey, you guys, I am here with a book haul. This is my first book haul of 2024. I feel like y'all should be proud of me because when I see all these other readers doing these like big ass book hauls and stuff, I'd be like, wow, I respect it. But my pockets are just not set up that way. And the way Kindle Unlimited has me and the way that that app Libby now, I can listen to my audio books for free. Listen, I really have not been doing book hauls, but the library was having a book sale and they had some books that were $3.99. Excuse me, I'm hiccuping. They had some books that were $3.99 and that's all you have to say to really like, if there was a van off on the side of the road and it had like free books on the side of it, y'all would be a goddamn goner. I'm telling you, Jeffrey Dahmer and the rest of them would have had a ball with me. All you got to have is free books on the side of a, a truck and I'm going to jump in. Definitely going to jump in. So the first book is not new at all. Okay. It's called Why Men Love Bitches. It's by Sherry Argov. I don't heard y'all talking about this book for a long time. And considering that I'm still single and I clearly don't know what the hell I'm doing, maybe I need to start being a little bit meaner. Okay. So this book delivers a unique perspective as to why men are attracted to a strong woman who stands up for herself with saucy detail on every page. This no-nonsense guide reveres, reveals why a strong woman is much more desirable than a yes woman who routinely sacrifices herself. So it says it says everything that needs to say. And I like the cover. I like me a good color with um red on it. Anything really with red on it, I'm kind of, I'm down for it. So the next book I got based off of the cover alone. Look at that. I love me some abstract artwork. It says Poe Man's Child, a, na a novel. What, what is going on with my reading skills today? Hmm. A novel by Marcy Blackman. Okay. It says after sustaining a serious injury during an S&M scene with her lover. I'm not going to lie. I didn't read the book description until now. How I don't purchase the whole book off the cover? Let's figure out how I did this. Because it was a dollar. That's how. <laughs> I had no clue. You was getting... Girl, you was getting that wild that you sustained a serious injury. I have ended up in the ER after I had got too excited one time and I had some fun time with someone and something got stuck up there and I had to get it, well, try to get it removed. So I know what that's like and that's not cool. But the point is, after sustaining a serious injury during an S&M scene with her lover, Poe Childs checks herself into a psychiatric hospital for a 72 hour rest what was y'all doing? And do you have video so I can see for just for research purposes? While there, Poe vividly recounts her life's most memorable incidents, populated by unforgettable relatives like imperishable Uncle Ray, cigar smoking Aunt Florida, Sister Aunt Anya with her unquenchable thirst, and Brother Bobby of the Ministers of Allah. After a poignant exploration of her family's curses and blessings, Poe perceives the nature of personal empowerment and allows the healing process to begin. Yeah, I'm going to read this book. Definitely going to read it. Um, I'm going to have to put on my reader's glasses because the font is a little small for your girl and your girl is going blind a little bit. So I am going to put on my reader glasses. Um, I'm not going to lie. The book cover is why I purchased the book. So the next book, it, it clearly looks like it's not been around for some time. Okay, let me see when this book came out. Let's let's try and scan just a little bit. Let's pretend like I know how to find in the book when the copyright came out. But if I don't find it, y'all better not laugh. 1992. 
So it says, why you say it, the fascinating stories behind over 600 everyday words and phrases by Webb Garrison. Now, I like idioms in, in um, finding out why do we say the things that we say. So when I saw this, I said, I could definitely rock with it. The book was $3. So yeah, I just saw the word whippersnapper in here. I want to know what a whippersnapper is. And it says things like selling like hotcakes. Newcomers to North America found one of its most versatile plants to be Indian corn or maize. When dried and ground, corn unyielded meal that made fine bread. An unknown experimenter discovered still another use for corn meal. Battered fried on a griddle yielded a fluffy delicacy that was best while still hot. Hmm. The, their popularity and money raising power was so great that by 1825, any merchandise that moved in a hurry was described as selling like hotcakes. I like stuff like this because it's going to teach me something. OK, so that's why I decided to cop this book. Never read a book by this author before. Um, yeah, a book for three dollars. You're going to see me with it. So there that goes. It was really simple. The next book. <laughs> It's called Find a Husband After 35. Using what I learned at Harvard Business School, a simple 15-step action program, it is by Rachel Greenwald. Now, I'm not 35, I'm 29, but I'm very hard-headed and very stubborn. So I figured I would get ahead of the ball by about six years, start reading now, just in case, you know, my, my future husband hasn't found his way to me yet, you know? Maybe I can give me some tips and tricks to help me learn something because, you know, you know, your girl needs some help. So I feel like this book is pretty <laughs> self-explanatory. I'm trying to manifest my future husband my way before 35. <laughs> so that pretty much sums up all of the books that I got in my book haul. Um, I, I don't go over the top, you guys. I'm not, I'm not that author or that reader that has like this big pile of books. Um, I did do a video already showing my book by Lisa Austin, my Honey, I Fucked the Plug. Let me see. I have a few other books over here that I already showed. I showed my two short stories that I got um, from author Katie Silverwing. So I'm super excited about reading both of these as well. I also have Perception, which is a novel by Andrea Hardaway. So I'm excited about that. And last but not least, I have Anna Sit Down Comedy 2. And it is by Anna Washington. So let me, here, let me try and do it like how you booktubers, you official booktubers do it. Here, let me see if I can stack my books up right. Here, let's see. Let's see if I can do it. Am I talented enough or do I need to go back to book stacking school? Here, let's see. I think I did it, guys. Here, let me see. <laughs> I did it. So, oh, Miss Lisa Austin, don't kick my behind, girl. I got your book right here. So let's do the book stack one more time, okay? There we go. I did it. So I feel like that was a whole exercise, okay? Your girl needs to get back in the gym. Maybe that's when I'll, that, that'll help me find my husband before I turn 35. Who knows? So if you guys have not already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I am coming with book reviews every week, twice a week. I am even doing my video book blurbs where I find books that I feel like belong on my to-be-read list. And I just show the cover to y'all and I let you know, like, yeah, this book is on my to-be-read list. And I read you the book summary so that we can both get put on to new books together. Because I don't want to keep reading. Well, first of all, I never started reading books that were popular. I read what I want to read. So there's that. I don't know. But I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.